Since the Industrial Revolution, Europe has followed an economic model that consists of extracting, manufacturing, consuming, discarding. Known as the linear economy, this model was adopted by all emerging countries at the end of the 20th century. Today, it rules the world, but it has its limits. It is now threatening the planet through the depletion of the world's natural resources and through increased levels of pollution, which have become unsustainable. Current rates of dumping and incineration indicate that not all European Union countries have taken on board the severity of the problem yet. The disparity in these rates requires us to adopt a concerted and joint approach. The development of a circular economy represents a way to meet this challenge. This economic model emulates the way natural ecosystems operate and encourages everyone involved to consider alternatives to throw away habits. Instead, used items should be recycled as secondary raw materials, remanufactured into new products, or used as a source of energy. Waste then becomes an asset and a resource. The changeover to a circular economy offers a number of advantages. The main one being that it is sustainable and long-lasting. The purpose of such an economy is above all to produce goods and services while avoiding the wastage of raw materials and the use of non-renewable energy sources. Many scientists and economists throughout the world have recognized the need to move over gradually from a linear to a circular economy. But they are faced by a number of obstacles. Lack of profitability and poor processes. Consumer resistance. Constraints imposed by national and European legislation. A lack of knowledge among those designing new products. The mishmash of raw materials contained in products and inappropriate waste streams. To remove the obstacles and make a circular economy possible in Europe by 2020, it's essential to achieve a greater degree of cooperation between scientists, governments, businesses and the public. Renew brings together a network of research centres and organisations that investigate and share knowledge to find new solutions in the fields of policy, the economy, science and technology. The network also addresses the problem of making consumers aware of the importance of making responsible and sustainable choices. To overcome barriers imposed by European, national and regional laws, Renew drafts recommendations for regional policy makers. Representatives from all European countries are made aware of provisions that support responsible waste management. To guide scientists in their research and to convince industry that the circular economy can perform well, the Renew Network carries out economic analyses, market studies, feasibility studies, cost-benefit analyses and studies on product life cycles. The research centres connected through Renew offer new solutions for waste processing or suggest improvements to existing equipment for converting domestic and industrial waste into resources that can be reused. They encourage production engineers to develop pilot projects into technologies that can be used on an industrial scale. None of this will be possible unless consumers acknowledge their responsibility for choosing products that can be or have been recycled and of the need to sort out their rubbish and take it to collection points. Renew is contributing to increased consumer awareness through leaflets, pamphlets, meetings, conferences, a website and even films.